Welcome back guys. It is absolutely tragic out there with the weather today. It's grim out there. So thankfully though, I have got a few things to be getting on with in the day. It'll be the zero body from Fat Bodies. We'll be getting that mounted up. If you're interested, stick around and let's get cracking. So that's it mounted. As you can see, that's job done. I'm only joking. Uh, what I want to point out to you guys is, is I'm using contact foams and as you can see there, the shell just slides straight over. Um, 30 on the rear, 30 mil wide on the rear, 26 mil wide on the front. But what I noticed is when I tried to put it onto the Raptor uh, chassis, with the wheels being slightly different, and these are actually deep dish. So if I can, how do you get the angle to get the fucking light on there? I have no idea. Anyways, these are deep dish, right? So your hexes are actually sat further back, so your wheels are sat further out, if that makes any sense to you. So I can slide that one off. And... It doesn't matter how much I try, I'll never get that on. So as you can see, maybe he's on... No, you cannot see. Anyways, just trust us, guys. You want contact foams, and if you've got contact foams, it's going to totally encase your wheels. So that's what I'm doing anyways. I just thought I'd point that out, yes. Right, before we do anything to the body, any cutting, any marking, we we'll want to get the mounts on first. So there they are, LC Racing. I'll put the link in the description. I got these from DMS Racing and they came pretty quick. Um, so like I say, we'll want to get the mounts on first. I'll pre-measure the mounts out front and back. So that'll give with the height. Um, and that'll also stop with from having a wonky shell when it comes to marking out the centre points of the wheels. So I've got the mounts in. I've got the mount set there. Uh, the rear ones I've got set at 40 millimeters from the base to the underneath of that cup there. So that's 40 mil. Uh, the front ones I've got those set from the base again to the underside of the cup. That's around about 12 to 15 mil. Uh, so what else I've done is as well I've set the ride height. I've got that all the way down. Yeah. And now what I'll do is I'll set the body on top and you have a look. There's what we've got just sat on top. Uh, the mounts on the rear here. You can just see that they're all coming quite close to this rear line. Uh, so rather than having them pointing out over, because if I get out the light, they're quite near to the outside of the car. So I've got it so the pins will be facing front to back. Um, but yeah, that's pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. The front mounts, well, they're just the front mounts. Now I'll mark my holes for the body. Uh, I'll get the body sat on and I'll trim some of this skirt off as well. But I'll leave quite a bit on for the sill. Um, but as you can see there, it's a nice flat line across, it's not too bad. I'm going to leave quite a bit on and that gives us some room for error. Right, let's see about this. Screw it on. Nice, I'm liking it. down for a closer look there's the front mount there just going left to right that's a preferable way for me on the bonnet on the hood and stuff uh, the rear I've got them going back to front I'd say rear whichever way you want to call it and you can obviously turn those around and it goes like that it gives it a sleeker look I guess uh, but yeah so next it'll be taking a little line off all the way around the sill area and then I'll mark the centers and my wheels and I'll show you how I'm going to go about doing my arches one little thing just so I don't miss this step as to how I'm getting it done. The car doesn't come with any sill lines or anything like that, like some bodies do. It does come with a little cut line along the base. Uh, the wrap that did, in fact, it comes with quite a defined line. This one doesn't. So what I've done is I just got down to desk level and eyeballed that. Uh, so it's literally just above the chassis, maybe it's a mill or two above the chassis, or hopefully, uh, along the front as well. If you can just make that out underneath the yellow line. So I'll get that done, get back here, and we'll do the wheels. There's that lip off, all the way around. So I've done it all the way around, like I said, front and back. And if I get the camera, I just stay here. And if I press down, pretty much, I'll press down right on top of the mounts. And as you can see there, it's the chassis that comes down and hits the desk. And if I push down, you can see that there. That's perfect. So next what I'll do is, 
I've marked the centers up, the little black dot, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold the wheel against that, like a wheel against it, sorry, and just draw around the wheel and cut that out. Fat Body Zero, officially mounted. Happy days. I hope you've enjoyed that video, guys. I hope you like the way the wheels have turned out with the arches. Uh, as you can see there, nice and round. The steering, you get the full travel of the steering as well. I'm going to just grab a hold of that. As you can see there, it doesn't catch on the body whatsoever. Uh, the only thing that does need to be adjusted now are the arches still because it just catches the wheels. When I slid the body on, it flared the arches out just that tiny little bit. That I couldn't really tell. Um, but yeah, a tiny little bit of adjustment, guys, in that is going to look absolutely sweet. Once I lick it with a bit of paint, and I had some mail come. So if you want to see what this is all about, find out more about one of these, get subscribing, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy that one, guys. Catch you in the next one.